Good morning. Uh, today, wedding bells are ringing in the great state of Arkansas. In just a few moments, the couples who are lining up in front of us and going in to City Hall right now will at long last have the opportunity to marry the person they love in the state they love. This ruling is a long, long time coming, and Arkansas advocates have been fighting this fight for years. Today, thanks to 46 brave plaintiffs, two of whom I will introduce in a moment, and two brilliant, brilliant, brave lawyers standing to my right. Because of them and their colleagues and their fellow plaintiffs, LGBT people across this state and across the South, especially young people, today have greater hope for an equal future. And even as an appeal proceeds, the committed and loving Arkansas couples deserve full and complete equal treatment under the law. And that's why the Human Rights Campaign, on behalf of our thousands of members here in Arkansas, we have requested that the United States Attorney General and the Department of Justice immediately extend full federal recognition to all same-sex marriages performed here in Arkansas. Now, without further ado, it is now my um, honor to introduce one of the plaintiff couples uh, who represented so many Arkansans all across uh, this state. Um, they stood up with their counsel so so many others could stand up today. Randy and Gary Eddie McCain. Yeah! I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful day. My name is Randy Eddie McCain. This is my husband, Gary. I would, <laughs> I would first like to thank our attorneys, uh, Ms. Maples and Mr. Wagner, uh, for Chad Griffin of HRC for his tireless fight for justice. And um, he's also a good old Arkansan, so I appreciate that. Also, I want to express my heartfelt admiration for Judge Piazza for his just and fair ruling on Friday. We believe that the state of Arkansas, this wonderful state that we have, so, that we love so much, have been deficient in keeping their promises to us as a married couple. When it comes to marriage, I have a great heritage lived out before me by my parents. They raised me to respect the institution of marriage. They showed me by example how to do it right. They were together for 54 years till they were parted by my dad's death in 2000. My parents taught me that you find the person that God has for you and you commit your life to them. You cherish and love that person in the good times as well as the bad until death part you. I found that person. Here he is. Yeah. I've, committed, thank you. I've committed my life to him. I cherish him and thank God for this wonderful, rich experience. My parents called this commitment marriage, and so do we. I am made a better citizen, a better follower of Jesus Christ, a better father to our son, and a better man because of the love I share with Gary. The state of Arkansas gave me the right 18 years ago as a pastor to marry heterosexual couples, and I have. Yet my own 20 plus year marriage was not recognized by my beloved state until Friday. Yeah. Gary and I were legally married in New York City. Now we would have preferred getting married here in Arkansas, the state that we have such a strong attachment to that I can't imagine living anywhere else. But we went to New York and received legal recognition of our marriage there in hopes that fair-minded courts of this state would honor the rights given to us in the Equal Protection Clause of the Arkansas State Constitution, so we became plaintiffs. Now I'm standing here and because of Judge Piazza's right and fair 
ruling on Friday, mine and Gary's marriage is a now legal right here in this state where I was born and raised. We are blissfully happy today. I have never been more proud to be an Arkansan. Some have said that it is impossible for two people of the same gender to happily live together. I beg to differ with those naysayers. Gary and I have been blissfully happy for 20 plus years and we look forward to as many more years as we both shall live happily married Arkansans. <laughs> voices we all have, right? <laughs> Congratulations.